uh, Robert Miller. I'm with the DDAC Ethanol in Atkinson, Nebraska. And we've got our Midwest Laboratories, our syrup analysis. Our moisture as is is 68.78. Our dry matter is 31.23. Our crude protein is 6.06. Acid hydrosis fat. It's going to run what, 25% dry matter, 75% yep. water, and probably 25% protein, thereabouts, and run about 70 gallon per day. Okay, and we've done that in the past, last fall at Jim Goggins's, and didn't get any spoilage. In your address, we're going to pull samples behind the grinder and then also in the hay pile after we put the distillers on, the syrup, and we'll send you the result. We'll also come back three weeks later or so and we'll pull more samples and look hours a ton. And there's only five points difference in the moisture. The syrup is actually about 25% uh, dry matter, 75% water. You know, the wet mash is what, 70-30 or 74-26, you know, somewhere in there. And yet there was quite a price difference. It's 25, 26% protein and can run as high as 14 to 16% fat. So it's really good energy source. It's just the problem of handling the liquid. And so we did uh, two demonstrations last fall and it worked uh, pretty well. For, we're gonna, that's what we're going to demonstrate here today. And then we can visit a little bit later about, uh, I think there's a possibility of actually putting the, this, this syrup on, well we, we've done it, it worked on the wind road hay in the summertime you wait till the day you're going to bale spray it in the morning and we've actually put 90 gallon per bale on in the morning and we bailed it up that night in the evening and it didn't spoil and then you would have your your protein supplement you know in the hay bales for the cows in the winter time so when it's Titus, custom hay grinder so you brought this rig all the way over here today We'll run two bales and you can just keep running and we'll, we'll start one of them.